trolleys rolled past me and I was conscious of the cries of the various vendors, the men who sold curds and lemon, the sweet meat seller, the newspaper boy, but I had lost interest in all that went on along the busy platform and continued to stare across the railway tracks, feeling bored and a little lonely. Are you all alone, my son? asked a soft voice close behind me. I looked up and saw a woman standing near me. She was leaning over and I saw a pale face and dark kind eyes. She wore no jewels and was dressed very simply in a white sari. Yes, I am going to school, I said, and stood up respectfully. She seemed poor, but there was a dignity about her that commanded respect. I have been watching you for some time, she said. Didn't your parents come to see you off? I don't live here, I said. I had to change trains anyway. I can travel alone. I am sure you can, she said, and I liked her for saying that, and I also liked her for the simplicity of her dress and for her deep soft voice.